You will notice that we are getting very creative with our links, everybody. A tusked tree, indeed a knob thorn. Now the word knob is best said with an English accent and um, an accentuation of the B at the end, knob, a knob. And uh, it can be used in all sorts of ways, of course, that word. Mostly uh, as an insult, I feel, to people, it's a very effective one. These knobs, however, are particularly impressive on the knob thorn tree, and they're used as a remedy apparently for eye troubles. So if you have, sorry, tooth troubles, that's these things, not these things. Uh, if you have a toothache, what you do is you take one of these knobs and you put it in your mouth. Uh, you probably crush it up slightly beforehand and place it on the offending tooth and apparently it will have quite a nice analgesic effect. So pain killing effect, so that's quite nice. Then while I was looking at the knobs, here is the chrysalis of one of the Acrea butterflies. And you can actually see, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's, I th I'm just going to just tap it to see that it's out, because it might still be in there. No, I think it is still in there. I don't think it's out yet. But we can see the husk. I can see the husk of the caterpillar that occupied it once. Um, <laughs> can you see that at all, Sid? Yeah, I'm trying to. You see this little bit of the right light copper there. colored husk there? But the butterfly is still forming inside the pupa there. So it will emerge at some stage. And it would just be very special to see that happen. This is, what, of course, what I was hoping would happen during our eight-week TV show. We had exactly this species, I think, of Acrea butterfly caterpillar. And they just never got to the stage that they formed a pupa like this. They just kept getting fatter and bigger. I suppose the Acrea caterpillar also has a few knobs on its back and they have knobs for exactly the same reason that this tree has knobs and that is in order to defend themselves from predators. Good.